Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be making a great side dish of spaghetti squash. It's just like spaghetti, you can make it. And I've just, you know, worked and been cut and I cut through this. And you can see it's kind of like uh, the inside of cantaloupe almost, kind of pumpkin-y. And you'll want to take out these insides. And to do that, I just use the, you know, just a regular old kind of piece from a little larger one. And, and I'll literally just scoop it out a little bit. Almost if you're peeling a pumpkin, if you've done that before. Uh, as kids, we always do the carving. It's kind of the same way. You don't want to take out too much of this. Just get the, the seed mixture. Again, if you're into gardening, take your seeds, keep them, save them. Uh, they're great. This is a great product that can grow really good in Georgia too. Finalize, it's not too hard. You just look for a little shadier spot and need a lot of water to soak that up. And I'll just take it and I'll save my seeds for later. I'll just put them in a little, little bowl off to the side here. But you just kind of want to clean that out just a little bit. We'll have a little bit of the strings coming. It's not so bothersome. So it's just nice and cleaned up. I'll do the same to this one. Now I like to do this at about, it takes a while to cook these, especially the thicker, the bigger ones. Uh, around 385 in the oven, so you don't want to cook it on a hot Georgia day, which unfortunately today is, but uh, I was really in the mood for this dish as a side dish. I'm gonna have it, uh, it's just a side. You can eat it as a great snack, really healthy. Uh, and you may want to roast the seeds with some olive oil too kind of like pumpkin seeds. I know we do that in my family a lot. That's a great little treat. But when we're done with this, and when it's cooked, the sidewalls, all this area is gonna flake off, and literally, you can just see how it starts becoming stringy. It, it's, it'll be just like spaghetti, it's, it's wonderful. You can eat it with a little marinara sauce on the side if you want just a touch. Uh, we uh, eat it just with olive oil and garlic mixture. We'll mix up and saute a little bit of garlic uh, but and sprinkle it on. I cook it with olive oil and the garlic mixture on the top. So I'm going to do that right now to set it up and I'll be putting those into a glass pan. I cook it for at least uh, 50 minutes and as soon as you do that it'll come out and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's fantastic. So guys, on this one, I'm trying something a little bit different to give it just a little more zest. Uh, I mixed up my olive oil and I put a little balsamic in there. That's why it's brown. A little apple cider vinegar too. It's always good to have it in. It smells so good. And my spices are right inside there. I use a little bit of uh, no salt Italian seasoning on this one. I just decided to give it a little bit of zest. And I'm just gonna let this be all around that rim so it soaks it in real nice. And I'll throw them in the oven now and bake them. And that'll soak up all that oil there and it'll really help it, you know, just get some of that zest. So guys, uh, I pulled out an hour later my spaghetti squash. You can see it's just kind of a nice golden and right next to my wrap. And it's gonna be delicious. Just to show you guys, it's kind of really hot. You can just use a fork and that just, whew, sorry. Starts flaking right off, and uh, I'll turn it here. I grab a mitt, really warm, and you can just use a fork, and literally it just starts coming right that easy, flaking off of there, and you can just smell all that juice and everything. It's wonderful. It's going to be delicious. Some people like to pull that out, and you know that's where you can put your marinade on it and just. I like to leave it in the shell. Just, I don't know, I do, I think it's kind of great. But fluff it up and you can see it just becomes like a great spaghetti mixture. And it's a great side dish you can just pull out and put next decoratively if you want. And I'll just pull some here so you guys can see how great that looks. And serve it if you want just with your plate like this. And see how nice that just fluffed out. You know, a lot of people just take it out and put it to the side. If you go to a restaurant, they're gonna serve it. I'm gonna try to pull this just so you can see. I'll shimmy it over. And now I have a beautiful, perfect meal. A little bit brown on the top here, but that's all that juice. It's just terrific.
That's great, really light, wonderful milk. I hope you guys enjoy.